In this video, I'm going to talk about how to connect your local PC to uh, the DNS3 VM. So, as you can see, I have DNS3 VM open, opened, and uh, you see that uh, I'm using both desktop and DNS3 uh, VM. So, I have a step by step procedure here. Uh, that uh, you can just follow so number one is you need to make sure that you all you are only connected to your Wi-Fi connection so uh, let's go ahead and verify that so here I'm only connected to this Wi-Fi and I'm not connected to the physical Ethernet connection it's unplugged so number two is in the GN, I mean in the GNS3 VM, add a bridge network adapter. So GNS3 VM, right click on it, settings, uh, add a bridge network adapter, click add, select a network adapter, next, a bridged connect, network connection. Uh, finish. So in my case, I have uh, already ha I already have a network adapter. So as a I mean a bridge network adapter, so I don't need uh, another one. So I can just uh, remove it. So I'm gonna click OK. And then number three is select your physical Ethernet connection to bridge to. So, still in GNS3 VM, you need to uh, select, click Edit, Virtual Network Editor, and then Change Settings, yes. And here, uh, under VMNet Information, I already selected uh, this controller or network adapter. So this is the this is my physical Ethernet uh, connection. So you need to uh, actually connect connect to both the Wi-Fi and the uh, uh, Ethernet uh, uh, connection or Ethernet uh, port. So. So number four is you just have to build a topology consisting of a router and a cloud just to verify that you can indeed uh, connect to the uh, VNS, DNS3 VM. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, I forgot to click OK here. OK, that's all you need to do. So again, edit. Virtual network editor, change settings, and then select your physical Ethernet adapter. Mine is already selected, so click OK. And then now we can build a topology consisting of a router and A cloud. So genus will be um, connect router one to the cloud. So as you can see here in the uh, procedure, uh, the bridge network adapter is going to be Ethernet 2 uh, on the cloud. So I'm going to select Ethernet 2. So let's go back here. I'm just going to show you something. So right click on DNS3 VM settings. So this is actually, uh, DNS3 VM is actually reading this as network adapter 0, net, network adapter 1, and network adapter 2. So that's why 
I selected Ethernet uh, 2 on the cloud. So you can view okay the ports. So I'm gonna start the router. So it starting routers in the DNS to DM uh, actually takes longer than in the uh, DNS to GUI. So I need to just uh, wait the, uh, for a few minutes. Well, it is already up. So let's go back to the uh, procedure. On the router, enable the port facing the cloud and configure it to get an IP address uh, via DHCP. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the port connected to the cloud. So I'm going to type no shot IP address DHCP and yeah, I forgot to connect the physical, I mean the Ethernet cable to my laptop. So it's not going to work. So let me connect the Ethernet cable and I'll actually go here. So now it's uh, connected and it ha and uh, it can get to the internet. So it has or it has Ethernet internet connectivity. So IP address. Now our router has an IP address. So as you can see, as no as soon as I connect the uh, Ethernet cable to my laptop, to my to my physical laptop, or to my local laptop. Uh, the router gets an IP address via DHCP. So that's the IP address. So you can test uh, by doing a ping or telnet into the router uh, IP or telnet into the router. Uh, from your command prompt. So, IP address is 192.168.0.28 and I can ping it. So, I'm actually gonna uh, create a new local username and local account and configure the uh, BTY line on the router. We we'll just copy and paste so we can turn it from the from the local computer to the router. So let me try if I can turn it to the router. Okay, it works. Words. And now I'm on the water. IP address, so same IP. So that's how you can connect your local PC to the TNS3DM. Thanks for watching.